First thing we need is three pieces of different fabrics and one cotton batting. There are many kinds of materials. Now can you pause your video and check them out? This is a pattern for our project. Check their sizes each part, please. You need to have a seam allowance all the way around. Our next step is lay down the cotton batting. So now we are gonna trace the pattern on the cotton batting. Take your scissors and cut it out along the line. Now what you want to do is take and lay the main fabric down with wrong side up and then trace the pattern. Hey guys, do you know what we are gonna do? That's right, let's cut it out along the line. Next, we are gonna take and lay the lining down with wrong side up. Remember, flip your pattern when you trace it. From now on, look very carefully. Now what you want to do is, place many pins all the edges. Do not sew the opening, you know. I've already sewed all the way around except the opening. Snip those corners. Our next step is grab the only one piece of fabric with your hand while insert another hand and then grab the corners. Now turn it right side out. And we are gonna blind stitch to close the opening. Take it over to your iron and press it. We need three windows and one door. As you see, I'm attaching them on the wall with my glue. It's an accident. I've ripped my house by mistake. But I'm not worried about it, so I'm making the door. The door needs two pieces of cotton batting for the volume. I 
I'm blind stitching to close the opening. With another colored fabric, I've made one more door without cotton batting. So now I'm attaching it on the wall. When you sew the door on the frame, you can sew it on one side of the door. Our next step is attach a knob on the door. It's time to place the pins all the way around. And blind stitch to finish the bottom of the house. The top's pattern have no seam allowance. First, we are gonna trace the top's pattern on the wrong side. But in the middle of the hole, you should draw some lines for their seam allowances and cut it out along the line. Next, what you want to do is sew it along the line. Take your needle and begin poking at those corners. Our next step is blind stitch to close the opening at the edge. In here, what you want to do is tuck the seam allowances inside. We're gonna blind stitch to close the opening in the middle. Top stitch. I've already sewed my snaps. Now you can fasten your snaps. And what you want to do is sew the top on the bottom. And then on the edges. Where's my toilet paper? Here! Thank you for watching me. See you next video. Bye!